Welcome to Bonehead Truckers. This is a place we make fun of the dumb stuff we see out here on the road. So if you like this kind of garbage, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I am on a rant. I got a rant. This is I've been waiting on me for a few days, for about a week or so. Been super busy and everything. But I'm here now. I'm going to rant about driver pay. First of all, you're asking a question. Why in the world are you talking on a headset inside your freaking little studio? Your little redneck studio here. Well, that's because, well, it's only Blue Tiger headsets. Okay, listen, I'm talking on a Blue Tiger Storm. All right, that's just what I'm doing. You hear how great I sound? I mean, I sound like a freaking stud. All right, I just know that. All right, I just know that. I don't sound like a stud. With th listen, gentlemen, this will make you sound like a stud, just like me. Hey, 10% uh, off all Blue Tiger uh, products. Click in the link in the description. I'll try to make sure I have something in the comments for you there too, okay? Driver pay. What, what's up with freaking driver pay? So when I first started in the industry, uh, rookies were getting paid like 26 cents a mile or something like that. I remember that's what I was getting paid. It was horrible. It was horrible, but for at that time, it was decent, but it was horrible. Let's just say it was horrible. I think the top pay at that time was right around 42, 43 cents per mile. That's what all the freaking JB Hunt drivers got. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I always got made fun of because freaking these guys, you know, pays. A... Anyway, so someone posts in, in the, the Bonehead Truckers Facebook group. Oh, by the way, that link is also in the description. <laughs> You just, uh, listen, I'm all full of links here. Uh, this is why I am. So they posted that, what did they say? 57 cents a mile or something like that is horrible pay for a company driver. And I'm sitting here thinking, it sounds pretty good to me. Because if you base it on 2,800 miles, okay, for an OTR driver, 2,800 miles on average. Yep, some weeks you'll get up to 3,500 miles on a really good week. You can get that. So a real bad week, you, can, you know, maybe 22, 23 on a bad week. I mean, so your average is going to be about 2,800 miles, right? You know, pretty much every week. And then they, that comes out to $80,000 a year. What do you got to do? It's drive-in. Well, drive-in is not that difficult to do. It's just not, you know, you, drive you bump the dock or you drive open the doors bump the dock pull out close the doors seal go it's not that difficult it's one of the easiest jobs out there so eighty thousand dollars a year yeah I, I think it's it's doable i go for that eighty thousand is still pretty decent the thing is is that people think that trucking for a basic job like this should be a hundred thousand dollars a year and i'm sorry for doing that in a dry van it is not a hundred thousand dollar a year job it's just not but there are jobs out there that do that but i was sitting there looking at this and i was looking at the comments and said oh 57 what is this 2004 no it's not no one was getting 54 cents 57 cents a mile in 2004 unless you hauled some sort of specialized crap so let me educate some of you guys out there because some of you guys are one-uppers well she we're talking about a bunch of freaking truck drivers here we're all a bunch of freaking one-uppers including me but i'm getting one up on you all right and so I want you in the comments to sit there and say that I'm wrong. Tell me how I'm wrong, what I'm about to tell you. In the comments of this video that, that was, or, or of the Facebook page, or the Facebook post. Man, I'm all clustered on this Monday morning. You, you, you know what I mean? That's just how I is. All right, that's how I talk. Listen, don't make fun of the way I talk. If, I make, if you make fun of the way I talk, I'll make fun of the way you talk, all right? All right, you Yankee, I'm just saying. <laughs> all prim and proper. Like I, I'm from California and I know how to talk and you don't. Okay, I'm from Texas and I could make up my own words. So the comments on this Facebook post was like, oh man, uh, 50, 56, 57 cents a mile, whatever it was posted. Oh man, I, I get 80 cents a mile and I'm home every day. All right, and I haul eight to LTL. I work five days a week and all this stuff. That's That's horrible pay, that's horrible pay. And I'm sitting there thinking, 
Then you have all these other people talking about, oh, I'm dedicated, you know. Uh, I, I haul for one customer, and I get 60 cents a mile or 65 cents a mile. I'm like, okay, you're, you're doing contracted work. This is, let me explain something to you guys. All right, pay structures and trucking are going to be different compared to what you do. If you're driving OTR drive van, you're going to get one rate. If you add a reefer because it gives you a little bit more responsibility, you're going to get paid a little bit more a, a lot of the time. Sometimes you won't. I think you should because you're responsible. Now you're responsible for the reefer, right? So, you know, which is nothing, really. I mean, you're hitting buttons, all right? You're making sure it's fueled up, all right? Maybe, you know, if you're mechanically inclined, you know, you could get the son of a gun started if it's not cranking. All right, but for the most part, that's all you're doing. You're just checking to make sure the temperature's right. You know, and then you gotta go do some extra stuff like get trailer washouts. That's it. Not that hard. But then you start to add LTL, you add local stuff. All that stuff is gonna pay a lot different. You wanna know why? Because you're not getting 2,800 miles a week. I mean, you may be getting 1,000, you may be getting 2,000 at most on a lot of these companies you know, driver, you know, or local drivers, but you have all these stops you got to do and all those stops you get paid for. Some of you guys get paid by the hour. That was, that worked for good, you know, worked for me, you know, and, but again, you're probably not doing over the road, drive in driving where you're just going point A to point B across the country. You're not doing that. You may find that rare thing, but for the most part, that is not standard. Then your flatbeds, your flatbeds, you get paid for tarping, strapping, doing all that freaking work you're supposed to do. And then on top of that, you get paid more per mile because you're responsible for a lot more than just opening and closing doors. Tanker, a lot more work. Hazmat, especially hazmat tanker. There's a lot more things. So when you're sitting there talking about the base style of trucking, all right, and we're talking about companies like what Werner does yeah Werner has some refrigerated yeah Werner has some dedicated but for the most part when you think of their OTR operations are those guys getting paid in the mid 50s no I mean you looked at Swifty Swift are those guys getting paid in the mid 50s well it just depends on the contract $80,000 a year is respectable if you want a hundred thousand dollars a year Guess what? You're going to have to work hard for that. You're going to have to do something different. You know, you don't have to work oil field and all that sort of stuff. But for being the base thing, and that's why I'm trying to sit there and I'm arguing with people. I'm like, man, you're you're sitting there arguing about what your job is compared to what is being advertised on what's being you know what's being advertised. I mean, okay, if you're happy at your job, then stay there. If you're home every night stay there but there's a lot of drivers that like to be otr you know believe it or not i don't believe it <laughs> because i never that was never my fun. i never had any fun doing that i had, like fun for like for like a week and i'm like okay this is this is dumb i'm bored with this give me something more to do it's a boring job and to me there's no challenges there so that that's just me that's just me and my style I always like having a life outside of a truck but there's not, not everyone's like me. So and there's a lot of people enjoy the road and they will want to stay out there as long as they can. Just because you're getting paid more, you see other jobs being paid more. Look at what consists of those guys' jobs. And then go stay, sit there and think, a, a, an OTR driver hauling dry van or even reefer, you know, when the hardest job that they have to do is back into a dock. I mean, come on, man. It's not... I mean, you know, back in the dock, everybody should know how to do that. Uh, maybe you flatbedders may need my help, you tanker drivers. You may need my help. Listen, hey, all right, money talks. I'm just saying, hey, you want me to drive your freaking truck for you? I can do it for you. I can back it in, all that. I'm talking to you flatbedders. You drive van haulers and reefer your freight haulers. Uh, you, you should know what you're doing. If not, get the heck up on out of here. Then flatbedders don't even want you over there. All right, I'm just sitting there saying, learn how to back. Anyways, all right, that's my rant. I've been wanting to rant on this for a while. Uh, I, I was a little bit, a little bit more heated last week, just of over. I, I just gotta educate people. 
because seems like I don't know. It's like a lot of these people have been in the industry, but they forget how how trucking is and you know what it is. Are there companies out there that pay drive in haulers, uh, you know, freight haulers like that, ninety to a hundred thousand dollars a year? Absolutely. Tell me where it is. You know, that, that, I mean, they're out there. But to be totally honest, the majority are 70, 70 to 80, you know, and which is respectable. And, hey, there's a lot of people that don't own a house. Maybe their their kids have grown up or, or what have you, you know, and they live out there on the road. I mean, come on. You live out there. You don't have, hardly have any bills. $80,000, you're feeling like a freaking millionaire out there. I'm just sitting there saying. Just sitting there saying. So don't be hating on eighty thousand dollars a year, all right? Be hating on the forty or fifty thousand dollars a year. Hating on the freaking sixty thousand dollars a year that's out there, all right? <laughs> we need to get be above that in trucking. Eighty is respectful. Uh, Ninety, hundred, hundred is great. You know, there's a lot of people making a hundred. And, and hey, if you are, keep your job. Don't leave. Okay, all right. So I appreciate you guys watching Bonehead Truckers. Hit that like button. If you like this video, comment, tell me, tell me what you think. And remember, this audio, this stellar audio is brought to you by Blue Tiger. And as more specifically, the Blue Tiger Storm, which is my freaking favorite headset. I use this all the time. Uh, yeah, it's got a lot of long range and the battery lasts forever. It charges on the whole USB-C. This is my favorite. I use it all the time. It's better than the ones I have in a pickup truck and all that kind of stuff. I just, I don't know, I like it. And uh, pretty low to Blue Tiger. Because tigers can eat birds if they want to. Okay, okay, all right. Oh, hint. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Appreciate you guys watching.